Hey traders, Ben Nathan here from the Daily Forex School and I'm here with your preview for the Reserve Bank of New Zealand rate decision that's scheduled for later on today at 8 o'clock GMT. Now, looking at the history that runs up to this, um, this release tonight, what we saw in December was a fourth rate cut for that year of 2015 and following this that was accompanied by some commentary um, from the Reserve Bank of New Zealand saying that that should then signal the end of their easing cycle and that they should now be on target to hit inflation um, you know, as, as and when is necessary. So what are we going to be looking for in this, um, this review? Well, basically what we're looking for is clues as to whether that rhetoric is still there. Now since the last meeting in December, um, commentary has been a little bit on the quieter side from the Bank of New Zealand and all we've just all we've heard really is that uh, Governor Wheeler expects to keep the cash uh, rate as it is at 2.5% and you'd only look to further cut rates if circumstances warranted it. Another thing as well we need to remember is rate cuts take time to uh, to kick in. So you know if we see a rate cut take place, it's not an instant fix for a market. So with there only having been a rate cut last month, we, ex we don't expect to see another one. So rather, what we're looking for is to see, number one, has there been any effects yet on the rate cut on a small basis? Uh, number two, you know, is, is there any scope for further action, judging by the current beating that things have taken from oil? In terms of data that we've seen on the New Zealand dollar, it's been relatively mixed. Their Q3 GDP beat expectations, but the CPI figures remain relatively slow. Uh, we only saw a 0.1% increase. And in addition to this, we are still seeing declines in dairy prices, which of course dairy is uh, New Zealand's biggest um, export. So there are things that could add uh, fuel to the fire that calls for maybe rate cuts in the future, but the question is, is it a little bit too soon? So the market expectation across the board is that there won't be a rate cut today, but we do want to see what they say about the latest oil prices uh, and of course those inflation figures. And we're really going to be looking to see what the overall rhetoric is uh, in terms of do they come across dovish or hawkish right now? Um, it's anyone's guess at the moment, but the only thing we are sure of is that there won't be any um, changes to the rate right now. So it's really about that rate statement that you need to look out for. In particular, as I said, listen out for commentary on their inflation and their declining dairy prices. And particularly listen out for clues as to whether this could signal the opening for further rate cuts moving on later into the year. For those of you who want to learn to replicate my 50% 12 month gains, um, all verified on a live MyFX book account, I am holding a special event in February where I'm going to be teaching a private closed group of 20 people from start to finish exactly how to replicate my own trading outlook, my own thinking processes and the exact methods I use to trade. And the idea behind this, it's one day where you can learn everything you need, you'll have takeaway PDFs and videos at the end and the idea behind this is that it's the only thing you need therefore you won't need to spend any further money after that on further courses and subscriptions. Anybody signing up in January can enjoy it at half price as well so it is a good time to check it out at dailyforexschool.com.